Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are discussing Bosser of model of agricultural development. Introduction to this lecture. Bosserup demolishes the theory propounded by classical trio Malthus. Bosserup tried to probe into the causes of agricultural development in the pre-industrial era. According to her, agricultural development has been due to some kind of compulsion. Then what is the compulsion? This compulsion is that of growing population leads to the development of agriculture. So the compulsion is a growing population. The development of patterns and techniques of cultivation as well as of the social structure of agrarian communities was governed by population growth. This contention is supported by Bosserup through an examination of agricultural development in some African and Latin American countries. So he developed, uh, she developed uh, uh, this uh, model on the basis of a criticism against Malthusian concept of population. So we need to see the Malthusian statements on population. There are two different statements of um, population by Malthus. The first statement is that according to Malthus, if the population is less than what the existing food supply can sustain, the population will increase and wipe out the excess food supply. This is the first statement. If on the other hand, the population is already beyond the means of subsistence, the population itself will come down to reach an equilibrium through the positive checks. Positive checks means uh, the natural checks, natural checks uh, or uh, any kind of uh, uh, pandemic like uh, and uh, in case the society hesitates to apply the preventive checks the preventive checks here means um, people um, for in case of uh, uh, checking population by any kind of uh, moralities and uh, by using any kind of measures by people itself that is a preventive checks by the people so Bosnia propounds the against the Malthusian statements Bosnia Bosnia refute first part of the theory by saying the population growth witnessed throughout the underdeveloped world in the post-war decades not because of increased food production but because of the medical improved medical inventions and some other factors this is uh, uh, the first statement against the Malthusian theorem by Bosserup. And uh, then what is the second statement? The population is already beyond the means of subsistence. The population itself will come down to reach equilibrium level. So she against the second statement. Bosserup maintains that whenever there is a population pressure, the population does not go down. The population never goes down. It rather leads to various technical changes which result in agricultural growth and an increase in food supply. So she refutes the, the chances of uh, natural checks and positive checks. But the economy will adjust with the, in this population by increasing the food supply. So, in order to uh, prove the 
agriculture development both sort of propounds five different stages so on the basis of the intensity of cropping or period both sort of classified five stages of agriculture development the first stage is forest to fallow stage second stage is bush fallow stage third stage is a uh, short fallow stage and the fourth one annual cropping stage and the last one is a multiple cropping stage in these five stages it is classified on the basis of uh, the intensity of cropping or the period period of cropping they are using in the first stage forest fallow stage it was uh, the length of the first cropping and the second cropping is about 25 years and in case of the second stage bush fallow stage it was uh, goes down as the population increases uh, it comes to the bush fallow stage and it was uh, about the six years for the next cropping and the third uh, in this third stage again the population increases the agricultural uh, um, the um, development in agriculture will uh, comes to the third stage which is short fallow stage which is of uh, the um, length between the first cropping and the second cropping is about uh, one or two years annual cropping is the uh, periodic or uh, uh, year by year cropping stage and the multiple cropping is uh, uh, cultivation of uh, different crops in uh, different um, uh, periods in the uh, within an year and uh, this is the five stages of uh, agricultural development and uh, we can elaborately uh, see by the following slides the first stage the forest fallow stage it refers uh, to the period when a country was generally covered with a forest and for clearing the land for cultivation purposes forest had to be burned down the only capital needed is a uh, seed or access for felling trees this stage has been called forest fallow because the land that was used for agriculture production for a year or two after the matured forest on it had been burned out would remain out of cultivation till fully matured forest have again come up on it for next burning this period of the land remaining unutilized for crop production would extend up to 25 years or so and in the second stage bush fallow stage in this stage when population grows up the repeated burning of less matured forest take place so there is a need for uh, additional food production so that is why the period is reduced from 25 years to the six years for a stake place called the bush fallow stage it is a stage when bushes rather than forest are burned and there is a no time for uh, uh, growing the bushes to be the trees and it is only uh, six years the period for the land to be fallow in this stage declines from 25 years to six years or so the third stage is a uh, short fallow stage in this stage the further growth of population greater need for food grains pushes agriculture into short fallow stage the society cannot wait for bushes to grow now land under grass and weeds has to be used in its existing form a hoe which was an important implement 
ഫോർ മീൻസ് ഫോ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ എന്താണ് തൂമ്പ ആണ് വിച്ച് വാസ് ആൻ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ഇംപ്ലിമെൻറ്റ് ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് ദി ബുഷ് ഫാളോ സ്റ്റേജ് കനോട്ട് കിൽ ഗ്രാസ് റൂട്ട്സ് ആൻഡ് വീറ്റ്സ് നീഡ് ഫോർ എ പ്ലൗ റൈസസ് ഇൻ ദി സ്റ്റേജ് ഇറ്റ് നീഡ്സ് മോർ ലേബർ ആൻഡ് ക്യാപിറ്റൽ സോ ദർ ഈസ് എ ദർ ഈസ് നോ അൺഎംപ്ലോയ്മെൻറ്റ് സിറ്റുവേഷൻസ് So, uh, this is called the short follow stage. The period of follow lasting for a year or two. The cultivator returns to the same field after that period. The fourth stage uh, is uh, annual cropping stage. Again, if the population increases, it uh, goes to the annual cropping stage. Sometime uh, this lapse between the harvesting of the one crop in one year and the sowing of the other in the next year this is a type of annual rotational system in which the time of uh, intervening between two crops is utilized for sowing cars and fodder multiple cropping stage this is the last stage of agriculture development this is the most intensive system of uh, land use here two or more successive crops are sown every year both the fourth and the fifth stages again come into existence as a result of growing population follow period is negligible at the same time these not only need more capital but also absorb more labor because there is a multiple uh, cropping as compared with the earlier stages also need more irrigation facilities this is the last stage and during the later stages the overall utilization of uh, labor will increase further bosrop concludes that uh, there will be no unemployment when population grows so there is a uh, no possibility of uh, a checking uh, or uh, in case of population increase uh, they uh, they will be employed and uh, they can sustain also the use of machinery for agricultural development need not lead to surplus labor but will be absorbed in multiple cropping this is uh, these are the five stages of uh, agricultural development according to bosera then and now we are looking to the growing population and uh, other changes bosera again pointed out that the famines uh, in the medieval times is not due to overpopulation but due to inefficient transport system the local scarcities to use gadgil's words tend into general famines due to poor transport system so uh, here most sort of states that uh, growing population is not a concern and, and, uh, for any economy and uh, the famines are due to their point uh, 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 he is uh, she is pointing out the overpopulation is not a problem but uh, uh it it leads uh, to farmings it is because of the inefficient transport system according to Bo- bosera population growth affects the system of cultivation and the system of cultivation in turn affects the social life of the people growing population does not create any obstacle in the way of investment needed for agriculture development the investment like uh, raising of uh, new fields minor irrigation work digging of canals drainage etc basically need the conversion of human labor into capital assets and therefore a growing population is welcome in these stages of agricultural development then critical appraisal Bosserup theory is totally irrelevant. 
for those economies where the urban industrial sector is well developed so this is a theory for the underdeveloped economies it is not for the it is not applicable for the developed well developed economies like usa or canadian economy at the same time the theory fails to explain why many overpopulated countries in asia and africa have still an underdeveloped urban industrial sector so this is a failure of this bosraf model in bosraf analysis uh, the second one in bosraf analysis she expressed the hope that the growing population can be absorbed in the agricultural sector even when there is a large scale of mechanization because of the system of a double or even triple cropping but in reality the countries in southeast asia agricultural development has failed to absorb the growing population this uh, all, all uh, uh, this can be witnessed uh, even in case of india in other words uh, there is a large disguised unemployment in these developing economies the next uh, criticism the theory is not relevant for present day economies the various stages of uh, intensification of uh, cultivation are only a matter of history and it is a history which is not likely to repeat itself and the next one bosraf assumes a closed economy is not applicable in these times and the next uh, criticism is that bosraf has completely ignored the fact uh, that the growing population also has unfavorable effects on the development of agriculture so this is the theory this theory is uh, totally based on the, it is uh, it is against the malthusian theory of population and uh, this give uh, demonstrates the uh, different stages of agricultural development and uh, how it works how it absorbs population this is the uh, theory of agricultural development um, and uh, this is uh, uh, the whole summary of this theory and if you have any doubt you can comment or ask okay thank you